In this video, we're going to look at perimeter using our units of length. Now we're going to calculate the perimeter of any 2D shape by measuring the length of all its sides. So you can see here we've got a green square and we could measure the outside edges, the four equal sides of this square to work out the length of its perimeter. We could also do the same to this irregular hexagon which would be slightly more complicated because it's got all different lengths of sides. And the perimeter of a 2D shape is the total distance around the shape. And we calculate it by adding the length of all the sides together. It's measured in units of length, for example, millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers. But we can also work out perimeters in imperial units. Now, we can do this by putting it onto a square grid if we know that the squares are all one centimeter. So here we've got a rectangle and you can see the perimeters marked in red. And each of those squares around the outside edge is worth one centimeter. So we've got six centimeters across the top and then we're going to add on four centimeters down one side. We're adding on another six centimeters for the bottom edge and then four centimeters going back up to where we started. And if we do six plus four plus six plus four, we're going to get 20 centimeters. So we can say that the perimeter of this rectangle is 20 centimeters long. Now remember, we must have units on our answers because it's measurement. Now in this example, we want to find the perimeter of this shape by counting one centimeter squares. So let's start in the top left hand corner and we've got one, two, three, four, five across the top and then we can continue counting six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve which takes us to the bottom right corner then thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen and seventeen takes us to the bottom left corner and then eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three and finally 24 takes us back to where we started. So we can say that the perimeter of this shape is going to be 24 centimeters is our unit for this answer. Now we don't always need to count squares if we're giving the measurements or we can use a ruler to measure it for ourselves. So we want to find the perimeter of this shape and you can see we've got a trapezium and it's got a top edge of seven meters so we're going to start there and then we're going to add on the 3 meter side, the 10 meter side and the 5 meter side to get back to where we started. So our calculation is going to be 7 meters, add on 3 meters, add on 10 meters and finally add on the 5 meters. And if we add all them together we get 25 meters. So we can say that the perimeter of this shape is 25 meters, making sure that we have correct units on our answer. Now when it comes to the perimeter of a rectangle, we can think about the properties of a rectangle. We know that the base and the height are the same as the top edge and the other side. So we can say that the perimeter is B plus B plus H plus H. And we can simplify that further using our collecting like terms skill. So the perimeter is 2b plus 2h. Or we can write it as 2 multiplied by the sum of the base and the height. So 2 multiplied by b plus h in a bracket so that we do it first, thinking bod mass. In this example, we want to find the perimeter of this rectangle using our new formula. And you can see that the dimensions are 8 centimetres by 5 centimetres. So we're going to write our formula P equals 2 upon B plus H. And we're going to substitute in our values. So it's 2 multiplied by, and we've got 8 as our B, our base. And we're going to substitute that in. And then we've got H is 5, and we're going to substitute that in place of H. Now, Bodmas says that we need to do the bracket first, so it's 2 multiplied by 13, and that gives us 26, and our units will be centimetres. 
And this is the same answer that we get from adding 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5, giving us a perimeter of 26 centimetres. Now, if we want to work backwards to find a missing side, if we're given the perimeter, then we can look at this example where we want to find the length of X. And X is the top edge of this 2D shape. We're told in the question what the other sides are and that the perimeter is 30 centimetres. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the given sides. So we're going to go back to our 2D shape and we're going to start adding the sides from the right side of three centimetres and we're going to add on for four, two, plus two, plus two, plus four, plus three, taking us back up to that top edge. And the total of three plus four plus two plus two plus two plus four plus three is going to be 20 centimetres. Now, what we need to do to work out the length of x is subtract the given side's total from the perimeter. So we're going to subtract from the perimeter. So we're doing 30 take away 20. And that will give us the length of x, which is what we're being asked for in the question. So x equals 30 take away 20, and that equals 10 centimetres, which is our final answer. Final example, we want to find W. We're told that the perimeter of this rectangle is 56 metres, the base is 16 metres, and we want to find the height of this rectangle, which is W. Now we need to think about the properties of our rectangle. So we know that a rectangle has two pairs of parallel edges the same length. So we can say that the height on both sides of our rectangle is the same and the top and the bottom edges are the same. So we can write in our 16 metres for the top edge and we can write in another W for the other side. So if we were going round our shape, it would be 16 plus W plus 16 plus W. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the given sides together. So that's the size that we've got numerical values on. So the two 16s. So we're going to do 16 plus 16, and that gives us a total of 32 metres. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract the given sides from the perimeter. So we're going to take our perimeter, which is given to us in the question as 56 metres, and we're going to do 56, take away 32, and that's going to equal... 24 metres with units on our measurement. Now we want to find W because that's what the question is asking us. And we know that we've got two W's in our perimeter and that's going to equal the 24 metres that we've got left over. And we can work out what one W is by doing 24 divided by two. And that gives us a value for W of 12 metres. So we can write our final answer, W equals 12 metres, don't forget the units.